Hello, thanks for coming back to the channel. Today I'm on the Neo Geo because there's a fighting game I've been meaning to try out for absolutely ages, which is Aggressors of Dark Combat. Combat spelled with a K, and now I don't know if Mortal Combat actually got the patent to spell Combat with a K, but here we are. I'm aware of one of the characters in it because she's in Neo Geo Battle Coliseum, but I literally know nothing about it other than you can kind of walk around. It's kind of all isometric movement, but a fighter. Now for me, 2.5D fighters never really worked, but I can't really have that opinion until I actually try this. So, tonight, for your viewing enjoyment, please sit back, relax and enjoy, this is Aggressors of Dark Combat on the Neo Geo. Mega shock, I do uh, love that um, Neo Geo noise. Now, this is a game I honestly, I have heard of it, and it is different to other stuff, and I'll show you why. It's kind of on, you know how I hate multiple planes in the F Fatal Fury games? Well, this is it, but on kind of almost like an extreme level. And that guy looked just mysteriously like um, Fu Fuma from, um, from uh, what's it called? The World Heroes. So this is Aggressors of Dark Combat, spelt with a K. I don't know if uh, what combat going to sue anyone for this, but... It goes on multiple different planes. It's almost like Streets of Rage if it was like Street Fighter, I guess, is the best way of putting it. That is Kotaro Fuma, my goodness sake. Right, obviously this is all part of the same universe as, um, as uh, World Heroes then. So, yeah, one of the other characters in it is the girl with the kind of little um, school bag. And she's in Neo Geo Battle Coliseum. So, I just I just kind of want to see what this is like for myself. So, we're just gonna. So there's no D button. Okay, we've got A, B, and say A is a slight. Keep pushing it for a hard punch. It's a light kick. Keep pushing it for a hard kick. Right. Okay. And so, oh, God. I hate fighting games where you have a button for jumping. Right. Okay. Who have we got then? We don't seem to have anyone's name. I mean, that's quite obviously Katara Fuma. But, I mean, I said this is the girl who's from Battle Coliseum. So I kind of want to see what she's like. Now, this is an SNK game. So this is going to be nine impossible. Ninja Hunter. Was my disappearing trick? It must be the Destiny. Okay. I don't understand the dosey do at the beginning. Christ, don't fuck around here, but oh god. Oh! That's like a reverse spinning bird king. Because she was like stood up and someone's just run in. I don't know if there's special moves or something in this game. They do seem to have like the kind of. What? I don't know what crazy does. I'll just press all the buttons to see what happens. No. Battles are bomb, aren't they? Of course, he can just teleport because ninja. I don't like the way you just break out of a flipping combo. I mean, that's just how much more damage his attacks do. Like, significantly more. I mean, and now I'm gonna just lie on the floor so he can have a free hit. Oh my god, he's just got an immortal leg drop. As I picked up a spade, because that was normal. Oh, Kisara, that's her name. Yes. She is in Battle Coliseum, and I know nothing about him. Okay, who's this big fella? That's not like Kevin Ryan from um, uh, Mark of the Wolves, is it? I haven't quite worked out a block yet, but the computer does seem to have that off pattern. And, yeah. I mean, there's no block button. But 
I mean, once again, superior damage output from the uh, computer here, as you'd expect. Being an SNK game, that is actually completely unbalanced and unfair. And now I seem to be in some kind of horrendous armbar. And then DDT'd. Right, okay, that's great. I want to know if she's got a move in Battle Call Super, though. I mean, he's quick for a big fella, isn't he? I mean, usually the payoff is if they do extra damage and their grapples do that much more, that they're slow. Except, well, they probably will be if you play as them. And look, look how my moves go straight through. But they'd have no problem hitting me and then grappling me. Hmm. I don't like the multiple planes because it's really hard to know if you can hit them or not, and it suffers from the same problem that Streets of Rage has. That, um. That if you are not on the same level with someone, you miss them. I mean, look at this dude here. Yeah, oh. So you don't end up. So it's still Act 2, but you just have different pathways. I just, yeah, that dosey do is a bit strange, and some characters are very tall in this. That was one attack, that was one hit. Okay, I like that move. Yeah, I can, I can get used to that. What do you do if someone's just turfling? So normally you grab them, yeah? Like that. But I haven't quite worked out a grab. That's a weapon. I want to. I want to use the weapon. No, don't. No, no, don't vault. Pick up the fucking weapon, you tit. Ugh, fine. We're not going to be allowed to pick up the weapon. Go for the old Bruce Lee stomp, though. And then the bleeping. I still haven't worked out how grapples work. I do know that kind of rush down kick move is pretty awesome. Okay, now you know what? I'm just gonna stand there impudently just for no fucking reason. See, look. Okay, blocking is just pushing away, but I haven't worked out a grapple yet. This is, bear in mind, the second level. If you literally just decide to give this game a go, and you get absolutely schooled like this in the fucking second level... Well, that's just ridiculous, isn't it? I mean, yes, I know I've never played this before, and I'm just trying to work it out, but mechanically, I, I don't like... The, I don't like the way that the multiple planes I keep missing. It's, it's very frustrating, and... I could see why they, you know, they're trying to vary it up and, you know, put a different sort of game mechanic in it, but it doesn't, I don't know, it doesn't feel very, um, organic to me. Oh, it's a mirror match. The input read on block, though, is quite horrendous, and because I don't know how to grapple, I don't know how to... Can I pick up? Please pick up the weapon. Please pick up the weapon. No, don't jump. I, I, pre I literally pressed all the different buttons there, and none of them pick up the weapon. But I can straddle him and beat Seven Shades the shit out of him. Okay, that's cool. Um, okay. The fact that a rush attack, for me, is is lower priority than them just doing a standard hit. I mean, that happens in Tekken now. That sucks. <laughs> you know, like, when you like do a rush attack in Tekken, you do, like, a flying kick, and they just whiff you. That always prioritises. I still don't understand why. Okay, we got um, some short basketball player here. This is very 90s. 
Okay, basketball appears to uh, prioritise over punch, because this is a fighting game. What's he doing? Yeah. So we did the move exactly at the same time there, and his move counted, mine didn't. And there's the whiff to... Technically, I haven't actually hit him yet, even though I clearly have. This is... Yeah, he's, he's a fast character, but... You see what I mean? I can't hit him, but he can hit me. I went for a flying kick then, and it did absolutely nothing. That crazy bar, I haven't quite worked out how to use that yet. But this lad, is he's far too far. I can't even hit him. And even though we're on the same level, he can hit me and I can't hit him. Which is... Fucking all kinds of bollocks. Um... Yeah, yeah. CPU-wise, this is this is very, very broken. Very, very broken. But I'm going to persevere. Even though it's quite clearly designed that you just can't beat this game. For fucking reasons. I mean, we have a quite obvious Steven Seagal kind of looking guy here. Now, obviously, I, I, I won my first round as Kisara. Uh, and I found that she didn't do a lot of damage. Unless the computer plays as her. Okay, she... What the hell? Is this Act 2 or 3? Because this is very, very, very difficult. And it, 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 it's, it's difficult not, not for the reason that... That it's challenging. Is that it's by, by virtue of the fact that it's just unfair. It's just very, very, very unbalanced. Look, she could... Grapples definitely seems to be the way forward, but I haven't quite worked out how to... How to... Well, to I haven't actually hit it yet. Oh, there we go. They can hit you when they're nowhere near you. They can grab you all the time through your attacks. Your attacks ignore them. Oh, this is a fucking hot mess of a game. This really is. And I don't accept one of those ones that, I mean, like I said, I mean, like I said, if you obviously practice this and play this for years, then maybe you won't find it as challenging as I'm finding it right now. Soy el del mundo. But, um, well, that was in Spanish. But let's be perfectly honest, as as a newcomer to the game, you you know, if a game is fucking bullshit straight from getting that one hit, by the way. Um, if, a, if a game from, from the get-go, takes the piss this much. You're not going to play it again, are you? I don't understand that fucking twisted logic, and obviously, I mean, as we all know, I mean, she was on a totally different level there, and managed to hit me. Um, oh, no, oh, uh, you can pick it up. Anyone who basically says the word get good in the comments is automatically an insert, aren't they? Because it's, why else would you have that attitude in life? Uh, Jesus Christ, this is fucking mental. <laughs> So look, when I played this Kissera, I couldn't get anywhere near this level of fucking butchery. Jeez. I actually really want to play her again in Battle Coliseum, just, just to see kind of what it's like. That That's actually kind of intriguing now. But yeah, I just got absolutely annihilated there. I do want to try with the difficult... Now, he was slow as hell. Now, the wrestler... ...was... Insanely rapid when I played as it when I played against him. So I'm in teal trousers here. Okay, so I've got some weird clothesline thing. Um, the, the grapple system, well, is non-existent as a human player. Oh my god, he's got a counter power slam. Okay. This is this is literally on par with those games you had as a kid where your cousin gets some Christmas, doesn't tell you the buttons, and then you know, if you play them for four hours solid, you go around on Christmas Day, you go hang out with your family, and they go, Oh, come play games with me, yeah alright. Don't tell me the buttons, beats the fucking shit out of you, and then has the audacity to call you crap. I mean I literally just get up, I just get knocked down like straight away. 
Look at inside leg lock at least. Oh. I still can't work out the... How do you grapple? I mean, I'm not the same level as him here. Well, well, I couldn't hit him there, as you can see. Hey, I got a, a power slam to... Fuck. <laughs> he did the same thing straight back. Yeah, you can see I was on the, on the level below. I was slashing away like that. He throws a leg out and it hits me. I mean, yeah. I'm, I'm not impressed by this. I mean, I do feel they've tried to be a little bit almost too clever with the game to try and... You know, make it something unique. Yeah, I mean, that, that's great. It's, it's good that when you have a fighting game... Right, this guy, this kid is quick. We know that for a fact. But it doesn't really matter because they're just going to grapple you and do one hit. That does as much as five of yours. But I do seem to have some basketball uppercut when I'm not in the receiving end of a combo. Play defensively? No. I'm gonna headbutt him in the nuts there. I don't know how that missed. I'm, I'm sorry. Was that exactly the same sound bite as a ta as a as a tattoo then? This guy. Okay, we're using Streets of Rage tactics here. No, nope, that didn't work at all. He just blocked it and encountered with a 700 hit combo. And we've only hit by train. That train completely put me off there. Yeah, the, 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 the hit and block priority from the CPU is is horrendous. And I'm not saying this game is unplayable, but it's kind of in that ballpark by virtue of the fact it is so unbelievably biased. I mean, you, you can see it for yourself here. I mean, I'm not a terrible fighting game player, but Jesus Christ, this is this is. I mean, with most most fighting games, we you know you pick it up within. I can get to like the fifth round, I would say, on most fighting game games. This I'm struggling on the third here, and I said it's. I mean, I was struggling straight from the get go. I'm gonna picture Katara Fuma here because at least it's a character I know from all heroes. And Fuma's a Shoto, bear in mind in World Heroes, which means. Uh, nope, okay, so his moves in World Heroes aren't there, so, okay. So we don't see no projectiles, that's fair enough. I mean, I mean Fuma's got that, that flaming dragon uppercut though, isn't he? Now we know for a fact that Big Bush, that is not Dolph Lundgren here, is slow. Now, he doesn't seem very slow when the computer seems to be in control of him, though. And he's incredibly resilient because I haven't even taken him down a health bar yet. He's still got blue. And the thing was, though, it's... I mean, the way kind of things work against big characters in fighting games is frame disadvantage. Is they've, got a, they've got a slower wind-up because their moves are more powerful. This guy doesn't seem to have that issue. What the fuck? Hang on, is Siegfried and Roy? That was literally an entire health bar in one go. Because the guy brought a white tiger in. Fucking hell. Oh. This... This is, this is, this is painful and I don't really want to play anymore. <laughs> Guys, yeah, you know what? I'm going to leave this here because this game, I mean, it, it is what it is. It's... Try... Um, sadly, I don't think I will, mate, to be perfectly honest. Yeah. It's it's difficult for the sake of being difficult, and I think and I think the, the most of the difficulty basically stems from the kind of imbalanced way uh, the computer will control the characters. This is probably going to be more fun if you play against a friend, because at least then you're on the level playing field. But there is, unfortunately, from my perspective here, zero level playing field between the human player and the computer control player. The fact that they can hit you on different levels where well, you can't. They can block and move forwards, which you can't. 
and I still have no idea how the grapples work. But um, yeah, the pro the priority was is is mental. That is, you run up and attack them, they'll whiff you out of it. You do the same for them, their running attack will prioritise over yours. It's it, unfortunately in ter in terms of balanced gameplay, there is none. And I've played a lot of challenging SNK fighters on this channel. Um, but you add the those extra running around Streets of Rage sort of almost um almost up and down sort of almost isometric sort of movement and it's just almost it's, it's I don't know maybe if I sat down for a, like a whole week and tried to do it rather than just kind of reacting to my first ever uh, first ever impression of this game I might have a different one but my first impression of this is this is trash I honestly don't like it because it's and it, it's for the reasons that like I said I don't like the movement of it and the CPU sort of hit detection and a block or input read on block is incredibly biased, and it almost makes it almost unplayable. Um, I'm going to go into um, Battle Coliseum now off camera and just have a go as Kisara. Now that I can't understand where she's come from, that she, I mean, I don't really like this sort of 2.5D combat. That yes. We don't, I mean, back in these days, they were like, oh, we were fighting on the same plane. Fatal Fury tried the up and down ones, and then you kind of had the side steps when Tekken first came into it. But making it like Streets of Rage, nah, not for me. But guys, let us know what you think of this game. What do you think of this game? Have you played it? Please pop it down in the comments. Let me know what you think of this game. Is it something you played in the arcades? I would love to hear from you. But guys, I'm going to leave this here and say thanks again for watching. Stay safe, and I'll see you next time. Take care.